Live from the WTC studios in Milton, Pennsylvania, it's the nearly famous CB show starring Chris Hatton and Brandon Kozer. And now, here are the stars of the show, Chris and Brandon. Look at this crowd. Look at this crowd. Beautiful. Wow. Consistency. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know how they pack them all in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, how's your week? No, uh, real good, I guess. Yeah. Nothing special? Yeah, nothing special. No. Well, no. We got, uh, well, what do I got? No. no nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. Well, no. I'll tell you what. Last week, uh, and I'm going to recap this before we get into our favorite segment. Okay. But uh, we did have, uh, you know, the wheels and doors. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, I know it's always a big discussion. My wife and I, and my kids and I have always had, and I am team wheel. Yeah. Okay. I know that you were team door. Yeah. I, I mean, we got to be opposite. I mean, we're <laughs> team wheel. There won't be anything to talk about. Well, team wheel won. <laughs> okay. Team wheel won in our comments anyway, comment section, and uh, we also had another comment from one of our fellow drivers asking about uh, videos. Yeah. Right so, on. Uh, right on. I will. Uh, Phil. Phil wrote in. Phil on wrote in. Um, he's from the South for us, and uh, he definitely. Uh, so we'll we'll get we'll get some video. Oh, we have one. A yeah, we later have I'll one. show you, and uh, it's a great idea. And so we will. Uh, some of them are, you know, just to be clear, we have to be cautious of what we're showing and stuff like that. But uh, we'll get you some videos, and I definitely have a good one here later tonight. Hmm. So we'll do that. So, so what else we got? Nothing. If you're ready, we'll roll right in. No, there. well, you know what? I think I, you know, I feel like talking about this now, but you know. Um, Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I, I, we have this big presence on social media nowadays, you know, with Facebook and other uh, channels. And uh, what's really cool is the, the amount of feedback we're getting oh. from our own drivers um, regarding our company and almost standing up for us. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. a, a, you know, we get some uh, off the cuff <laughs> comments to us and, and more so. Uh, drivers out in the, in the, you know, other drivers from other companies and um, questioning what we're showing out. Yeah, what and we're the, advertising. what's really cool is the uh, amount of feedback we get on, especially on the when we did a conversion. So we took the regional rate and then we converted it to a mileage uh, rate because most carriers still pay per mile, right? right? right. Oh, and so yeah. we get all of these mathematicians who say that our mileage doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't equate. So. When we start getting into it with them, and some of our drivers help us with this, they, these people, these other drivers are starting to understand what we are saying. Every hour of work equals every hour paid. Correct. Ooh. And I think, you know, there was one, I really got passionate on this one comment. It was like, you know, the, for truckers out there who have been, um, they, he says, have been taken advantage of for all these years. And I looked at us and I said, no, we're not taking advantage. We're not, but that is a valid point. Right. Truckers out there that are being paid by the hour yep. are not being taken. But when you're by the mile. Right. There's all this time. And yeah. we started think, thinking about it. Like, just think about all the time from dropping and hooking to going and looking for a parking spot to going through a scale house and, you know, fueling and having long lines of fuel stations. Then shippers and receivers, Sitting obviously. And waiting on a load. Right. You're not getting paid for any of that. Right. Unless you're here. You know? So it was really cool. And now, recently, we've had these testimonials. I, I, I'm sure if you, especially on our social media page, you, You've seen testimonials from, uh, you know, from Jay, and, and uh, last week was uh, um, Palmer. Yep. He, he wrote it. He, he gave us a video. We got we got more to come, and um, Kevin Williams. Kevin Williams sent one in, right? Yeah. Yep. And um, you know, we that idea of what we liked about that was the sincerity, the realness of it, and we're looking for more of those videos. You know, so if you're a fellow driver out there, you want to say, hey, could do a short video of why you know. Not necessarily just Watson Town. We're not looking for all the accolades. We just want down to earth. Like why the, here at Watson Town we do it differently. And the big th and it's, it's not a script. It's right. It's not a skit. It, it's we want it coming from you. You know, it's compassionate from mm -hmm. you. How you really feel about the company. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and why you're happy you made a decision or what keeps you here. Right. You know, so anything like that to get the you know because again growth for us is growth for everybody. That's right. You know? And so we need to. We got to get that word out there because the unknown of the hourly is very, very, 
worrisome, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. for other drivers. They, they don't understand it, and so they want the reassurance from a fellow driver that's mm -hmm. driving with us right now. Because we can tell them all the time, yeah. hey, it's better here, you're going to make more money, or you know, you're going to be better off in the end. But they don't want to hear that from us because they think we're phony. Yeah. They hear it from a driver who's actually dealing with it and, and, and appreciating it and earning it. It means a lot more. Absolutely. And I think the uh, one thing I also thought of is, all right, well, maybe somebody's not comfortable speaking to a camera. You know, yeah. it's not the easiest thing. Hey, write your testimonial down. We'll share it. We'll you know, it. we'll read it. And, it. and again, this isn't to pat ourselves on the back. It's to get an awareness about this hourly pay. Because there's all this controversy within the trucking industry, especially now with the shortage of drivers yeah. and the amount of fr the freight that's moving. Of The pay scale has not been... Drivers, again, I guess go back, taking advantage of over the years. Mm -hmm. So uh, we feel, you know, we're industry leaders by our, our pay scale uh, method of, of hourly pay. And uh, are, are we perfect? No. And we're not like, expecting these videos to be, again, be about how great we are. We're more so just looking for why the hourly pay from safety to just being paid fairly and all uh, everything else that goes with it so share those testimonials with us send them in you know we'll we'll put them on our facebook don't be if you are scared to get in front of the camera like i said text it up yeah email us whatever we'll, we'll, read it. we'll read it we'll get it out there and one other thing you know i know there's some drivers we've talked about this see we have these cards uh these business cards uh um out that we we're handing out to drivers and it's more for recruit recruiting and referral but um you know, pick them up from Tony, and they're pretty cool. You know, they say on the front of them, drive for a company that values your time. Again, hammering away at that, that hourly paid mail. But what's cool is we, we added this line on the back. Uh, it says referring driver. So, put your, you know, you put your name there. You your name, name on that so that, that way, you know, again, like we talked about, I'm at a truck stop, I see you, you right. talk about the company, I hand you my card. If I just tell you about it, two minutes later you forget my name. Right. But if I hand you my card and you bring that in, therefore you get, you know, you get the uh, – the credit for recruiting mm -hmm. that driver absolutely and so therefore it, it's a win-win yeah you know so yeah and i you know thanks everybody who has has participated in this and you're going to see more we are going to just so as a company we're really going to um really put ourselves ahead of the curve here with our pay scale and, and the way we do things here at watson town we do feel like we're doing it the right way and so um again look forward to more stuff on social media and uh, some other, and there's some, you know, what we have done too lately, just so people understand, we've we've added some of these different types of shifts. Yeah, lots. You know, and we're having a huge turnout on this, especially the uh, part-time, casual, flex driver. Basically, per se. make your own schedule. Let yeah. us know when you're available and we'll work you. So what we're, you know, you're going to see with targeting owner-operators. Maybe they had a short week running their own truck. So if you've got a buddy that has his own truck and says, hey, man, I want to make a couple extra bucks here at Watson Town. Join us, this, you know, I'll run for you this Saturday. Send them our way, man. Absolutely. We'll, 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 we'll run them. So what else, um, you know, I guess that will lead us. You know, that's a pretty good ending there. That's you know? good. <laughs> Let's lead into uh, our, our favorite, favorite segment. segment. The Weekly Update. And so uh, continuing right off what you're saying, you know, I mean, this week we had a good class. Yep. Um, we had four in class. Um, Joel from Virginia, Chris from Ohio, and... Hassan and Julie from PA, uh, you know, great class. I, I happen to spend a little bit of time with them this week, and uh, lots of uh, lots of different humor, you mm -hmm. know, different personalities. But it was a very good class. You no, know, nice. We had a lot of laughs, and uh, you know, can't I'm not can't express enough how happy I am that they joined us, and uh, you know, definitely uh, was a great class. On the uh, warehousing side, I know we had a lot of team members that joined us this week. We or this week, you know, got a lot of positions available. You know, you see our posts again on social media. You know, filling up fast. Our name's getting out there. You know, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And so, uh, big things happening on the warehousing side. So, uh, you know, again, the weekly update to here. Uh, I, I guess one thing: do we have any accidents? Well, so that's where I was going to go with. Uh, we had no lost time injuries. And no DOT reportables. Ooh. Now, Ooh. going on to that, mm -hmm. where we wanted to bring back uh, the videos. Yeah. So we do have a video here, real quick. Uh, I did get permission from Terry to share because, uh, you know, there's a lot from this video. Mm -hmm. You know, um, as you can see in the video, as we'll show it, uh, anybody that attends the safety meetings and we go over our red lights and uh, near misses and stuff like that. But a red light is a big thing I always tell everybody, you know, you see that stale green light, reduce your speed. Yep. Because unless you're the luckiest person <laughs> in the world, it's going to be yellow by the time you get there. Yep. And in this video, you can see uh, Terry starts to reduce his speed. And um, we, we had a very cl uh, close call, a uh, near collision. 
but uh, because he was reducing his speed, he was able, and then aware of his surroundings, he was able to prevent the uh, collision. So let's just take a look here. Yeah. You know, what a video, you know, and I, I, I always look at that person in that vehicle thinking, man, yeah, you know, they probably saw a big a blue blue truck heading their way and probably got, you know, don't want to say what I want to say, but they, they probably were pretty scared, you know. Yeah, and really, I mean, you, you, the thing, like Terry was there, he was, he was around, aware of his surroundings because mm -hmm. the car that turned in front of him obviously saw the other car across yeah. from them sitting at the light. That's what so I think screwed you know, them up. Boom, it's just kind of like what, you know, you talked about weeks or months ago. Where the car next to you starts to go, and mm -hmm. you want, you know, you because you weren't, you know, you were not paying attention. But that's what happened there. I, I'm, I'm guessing that they saw that car stop. They didn't look at their surroundings. Terry did a great job being aware of his surroundings yeah. and preventing that accident. Still so. so you know, we shared this, this is on the trucking side, but this this really goes to all of us. We're all we all ride in the passenger vehicle, and it, you know, we we talk about what can our drivers do, but it really comes all of us all of us out there on the road doing making good decisions being aware of our surroundings and, and we did and regardless if that would have been our fault or not there would have been an accident that somebody Correct. potentially would not get home to their families the mm -hmm. way we talk about so it is so imperative from a warehouse employee to a, a driver to a mechanic to office staff that we all are aware of our surroundings are making wise decisions when we're out there so absolutely great video so uh Again, great job, Terry. Yeah, you, know, you did, did a great, great job there. So um, now, I mean, my other favorite part. Yeah, what is it? You know, safe tip. <laughs> of the week. Oh yeah, well, hey. So uh, safe tip of the week here. We got the uh, proper triangle placement. Mm. Now, this is a big one. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody has the triangles in the trucks. Some of them have in our personal cars. But when you actually break down, whether it's a tire breakdown, whatever the issue is that you're alongside the road. What is the proper pr placement for safety mm -hmm. while you're out there on the road waiting for the help? So uh, here, you know, little screenshot. Uh, if you're on a curve, you know, you want to put one 100 feet, 40 paces roughly in front, um, 10 feet behind you, four paces behind you, and then another one 100 to, 100 to 500 feet space and anywhere between 40 and 200 paces, mm -hmm. be be depending on the, the bend, how, how sharp it is. Now, if it's a divided highway, uh, you know, obviously just the four paces, 10 feet behind you, and then 100 and 200, just so the awareness is there for people like that. So again, 10 feet, 100 feet, it's easy to remember, stuff like that, but paces is, you know, it's just strides. It's just mm -hmm. big, long steps. If it's a divided or undivided straight road, you know, 100 uh, feet in front of you, 10 and 100 feet behind you. Uh, you know, just, just little simple placements like that to be making sure. Now, a hill is a little different. Yeah. A hill, obviously, you want to get that first one really far back there, probably closer to the 500 spot, and then, um, you know, 10 feet, and then 100 feet in front of you. And, and this is just all for safety, for, for for the awareness of, like you said before, everybody's driving a personal car, everybody's driving a four-wheeler yep. around. It brings the awareness to them so that you can be safe, whether you're on the driver's side or passenger side of that rig, making the adjustments. Yeah, and I've seen it, you know, and I'm sure you travel where you see um, a track trailer broke down on the side of the road and he's got like triangles out 10 like feet. five feet behind him. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that didn't do any good. No, I mean, you already, I'm already in the trailer by the time right, i seen right, that triangle. So. so it is important, you know, again, it's awareness, making sure, hey, people know that there's a breakdown, an issue ahead. There's slow a down. hazard up ahead, let's adjust and move over, you know. And again, you know, there is that big law going across now. A lot of states are adopting that law where the move over law, mm -hmm. you know, move over, slow down. If not, it's a, it's a citation. And uh, it just I makes think sense. one thing, you know, we talk triangles and I, I you know, we talk videos. And um, I think there's something, you know, that happened this week. And, the, you know, it kind of correlates to both. But there was a major snow squall within Pennsylvania yeah, this week. And um, it caused a 60 car truck pile up. A couple people have perished, you know, in it. And, um, it really, you know, it, it's crazy. The technology now, we were getting the alerts. We were getting those alerts yeah. um, saying, hey, there's possible schools, you know, yep. coming. And he, there's a couple of videos out there, and you see, I, I feel drivers did not take precaution in them and slow down. 100%. They couldn't see, their visibility was down, and they just, you they know, just you're mentally going. assume that oh, there's going to be no issue ahead. And then boom, there was an, there there was a you know a pile up, yep. and everybody just kept. If you watch the videos, just kept hammering into each other, and um, you know we're fortunate we were involved at all in that accident. But uh, again, I think there's so much awareness, and we'll talk about that some more. Obviously, we're coming out of snow season, but th that's again that it was 
snowing. It wasn't supposed to be snowing. And boom, it, you know, it, yeah. temperatures change around here locally, and uh, that happened. It's it's unfortunate. It's terrible. And uh, but there's a lot to learn from that. And so you know, when we talk these safety tips, these triangles. This isn't for practice. This is for show, man. This is uh, right. this is real life stuff. We, we so. want to make sure that everybody's safe out there, mm -hmm. regardless of what you're driving. So, but uh, you know, I guess <clears throat> another great week. You know, uh, I, the um, you know I, I go back to Steve's video. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, I thought there was a great video, especially at the end where he said, you know, it's a it's about the employees, and I think to, collectively between all the companies here you know we work together we, we you know you bring on more talent to our company and it makes us better it makes us better it makes us prosper through good times and bad times in the economy you know and strengthens our ability as a you know to provide for our families and ourselves and all that good stuff so again to our sponsors out there you know can't thank you enough yeah. you know so definitely over there glad to have you yeah. part of them so uh, until next week be safe have a good weekend